Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Afika Zahra binti Muhammad Zainuddin. I am taking Diploma in Hospitality and Tourism Management. Today, I will present about the Table Site Service. Table Site Service is a service that will done by the waiter, server or sometimes chef, which is they need to prepare the food in front of the guests. Basically, they put the dishes, ingredient in the trolley or cart, and serve it uh, step by step uh, at the guest table side. As mentioned, the food is served in front of the guest, so it allows guests to watch the preparation of the food that they will eat. And strictly for the server, waiter, chef, they should never touch the food with their hand, and um, they need to use the utensil that required. And this service has been used since 60 years ago. In addition, the service required a high skill staff to do the, the preparation because they need to pay a lot of attention when they prepare the food to avoid any wrongdoing. Next is the type of menu that used in table side service which include the beef, chicken, um, fish, salad and the coffee for example the menu that usually we can see is a uh, stick tarte big alaska banana fusta quesa salad and specialty coffee that's all from me thank you Hi, my name is wanura amira binti wanzurhad so today i will be presenting the summaries on how to carve chicken uh, beef and also filleting a fish. Okay, so I'm gonna start with uh, the chicken carving the chicken. So basically first you just gotta have to take the legs off separate the breast and the legs um, one side at a time and then carve through the skin until the bone. Pull the leg using your own hand and carve till separated from the breast. Uh, to cut the legs into half, you have to find the membrane and then cut. Um, for the second step, the breast. The breast, you have to first uh, know where is the kill bone. The kill bone is actually right down the center. Uh, just cut on the side of the kill bone, uh, one side at a time. Uh, the wings are attached to the breast. Uh, you have to slowly carve around the wishbone. And to uh, separate the wings, you have to cuff uh, around the joint, around the wing joint. There are also some few techniques for the carving, which is uh, pull the meat away from the body to cuff down and away from the center to avoid uh, the rib bones. You must always trust your hands, lifting and pulling are important in carving, especially if you're carving a turkey. You have to also um, divide and conquer, which is uh, separating the wing or drumstick is actually an option when you need to divide into extra servings. Second is filleting a fish. Okay, so there are uh, some few ways on how to filleting a fish, um, but there are also some important things that we need to remember, such as first, we need to present the fish to the guests. Second is that equipment should be prepared and clean. Third is that filleting should be done quick before the dish gets cold. And uh, fourth is that filleting the fish should be in front of the guest. And the last one is you must know the product and show professionalism while handling the fish. Okay, so from the first video, as you can see, there are uh, three steps on how to fillet the fish. First is that move the components into another plate and then remove the side bones and set them aside. For the second step is that you have to cut the fish in the middle and then separate it into half. And then third, which is the last, um, the last step, you must carefully lift the main bone and remove it. And then you can serve all the fillet with the components. As for the second video, the step is a bit different because um, the fish have the head and tail. So 
for the first step it is quite similar to the first video which is you have to move the components uh, to a different plate okay so uh, second is you have to cut the tail and the pin and move it aside and then third is that you have to go through to uh, go through the fish with a fork and go all the way down this uh, this step actually will have the fourth step which is peeling the skin so for the first step to peel the skin you have to um, go through with your fork and pull the skin with the fork all the way through from bottom to top okay for the fifth step is to cut the fillet into half and put the fishes on the plate except for the belly for the belly which contains bones and then for the last step is that um, remove the middle bone and side bones and then plate the rest of the boneless part into the plate and remove bones from the belly part and also plate it on the uh, plates and then it is ready to serve okay so as for the third video as you can see it's kind of like a japanese style of filleting a fish because they use a chopstick and also a spoon okay basically it's just simple they just use four steps which is first they remove the side of the bones and put all the bones away and second step is that they cut in the middle and then separate the belly part and third is remove the middle bone and the head and the last step is cut into servings and it's ready to eat okay so for the beef i will insert a video so that you can see it with more detail here we are beautiful roasted top side if we give you one tip for cooking at home, when you take it out of the oven, leave it to rest for 20 minutes before you start carving. The key to carving is the way that you hold the knife. You want a nice, light, simple grip, just with your fingers. You don't want to over grip it, without you'll probably end up putting too much pressure on the knife and damaging the meat. Then with a fork, just into the top of the meat, about half an inch, you don't need to push it all the way through. Then with a knife, start on the edge of the meat, and then just use the whole length of the blade in like a saw in motion. Just carve down the meat, allowing the knife to do all the work with hardly any pressure. This is why it's important that you do have a, a sharp knife. And then with that, the meat should be nice and thin and just roll off on its own. Cut that for some nice slices. Okay, so as you can see from the video, Actually, carving a beef is quite simple. It's just you just have to know on how to hold the knife, and you have to also leave the beef uh, on rest for 20 minutes if it just went up from the oven. Okay, for the first step is actually you need to know on the way to hold the knife. You uh, you just have to hold it just light and don't put so much pressure on it because if you put too much pressure uh, it might damage the beef okay for the second step is that just go into on the top of the beef with a meat fork and then just buy half of an inch uh, no need to go all the way through because you're gonna cut it so start from the edge of the meat sawing motion go through all the way and let the knife do all the work don't put any pressure and then just slice it nice and thin and it is ready to serve you can eat it with anything like mashed potatoes or fresh vegetables um or any side dishes that you like okay that's all for me thank you would you like to have your dessert now Would you like to have your dessert now? Yeah. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Ayuni Atira Bintin Azam Kuri. So today I want to explain from my opinion the table side with the 
the relevance of table site service from my opinion uh, I choose a table ordering system because it's a great way to let your customer know you are here for the long hour and want to be relevant to them set your restaurant apart with technology that makes the guest experience better and your job also can be easier to do and your business more lucrative from my opinion the reason restaurant needs a table of ordering system the first is give gas control a table ordering system means your gas have more control table site ordering start the gas off on a positive note after being greeted with a friendly smiling face at the host or hostess station then led to their seat the guests can sit and chat for a while or get down to business up to them servers will come around to introduce specials and answer questions but the rest is up to the customer thank you